What's up with the fam? It's your boy Preston McCullough Jr. here. Back at it again with another video. Fam, I, I, I'm just getting back uh, from the gym and I made it to the office and I was in my car thinking about uh, how blessed I am, fam. Like, man, you know, like 10, well, I wouldn't say 10, I, I'll say about 15 years ago, uh, before I ever started my business, before I ever been presented with the opportunity in the first place from a guy that God literally sent my way, you know what I mean, to introduce me into a new skill set, introduce me in, uh, into a whole industry that I didn't even know existed. You know what I mean? Uh, before any of that, I would have never thought that I would have been where I am today. Even though at the time, you know, I, I was already an entrepreneur uh, in my own way. You know, I had a whole lot of different side hustles going on. Uh, I was in college working, just doing a whole lot of different things because that, that's just always been me. God blessed me with a whole lot of work ethic. I've always been a hard worker. But, you know, God pretty much blessed me with an opportunity to learn a skill set to where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making way more money than I would have made uh, even after my degree. And, and thank God I did graduate. Uh, even with my degree, even if I would have had three, four, five different side hustles, right? But uh, throughout this journey over the past nine years since I've been self-employed, I've had ups and downs as far as uh, my faith. Even though from the beginning, God is the one who blessed me with everything that I have, the opportunity that I have, the family that I have, right? I've always known that. But just over time growing up, um, just going through different phases where I'm feeling like uh, everything that I have is because of my own efforts and everything like that. Um, just dealing with a whole lot of, uh, I guess, pride, you know what I mean? Just, uh, but, but me not really recognizing that what I was dealing with was a, a spirit of pride because that's something I still struggle with. I, I, I have a lot of pride because, uh, because I, I, I have to put in a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of effort and then I get graded uh, upon the work that I do by more and more contracts. I get rewarded by uh, bigger checks and, 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 and uh, the ability to be able to control the market because what I do, I don't have a whole lot of competition. So it's a lot of pride that comes with that, but um, every, every now and then God will give me a wake up call. And it's not necessarily that I get reprimanded or God make, makes me um, deal with the consequences of my actions because I know my actions um, the pride that I have, uh, some you know, me forgetting about God and all that kind of stuff. Like, I, God, if He wanted to, He could give me some severe punishment, some severe consequences, because I know that's something that God does not take lightly. You know, so this video is basically me repenting. You know what I mean? Like, trying my best to uh, always recognize that everything that I have is because of God. Like, literally, the Lord Jesus Christ saved me. You know what I mean? Uh, he, he blessed me with one of the things that I that, that, that I was so concerned about um, uh, in my youth, in my childhood. Uh, you know, like one of the one of the things that I never wanted to be growing up was poor. So I worked so hard. You know what I mean? Uh, I put in a lot of time and a lot of effort. I was juggling multiple tasks. Like I said, I was going to college. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working and I got side hustles, you know. And I've always tried to hold myself with integrity, you know, so like God blessed me with a lot of the different things uh, that that I, that he allowed me to be born with. Let me put it like that. But one of my biggest downfalls is that I fail to recognize God a lot of times. I fail to recognize that everything that I have is only because of his grace, you know, um, but it's like I, I have these moments where God just like just weighs heavily on my heart. The Holy Spirit is surrounding me. You know what I'm saying? And then I just start bawling, crying. You know, it's almost like God is, is, is still allowing me the grace to be able to lift that weight off of my shoulders. The weight of my sin, you know, the weight of my selfishness. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, like even with my channel, you know, I. I you know, I'm working through the Bible right now and I'm, yeah, I toggle back and forth like, oh, I just want to share this on my channel. But I be feeling like such a hypocrite sometimes because I'm not necessarily, you know, like, I don't, I don't know if my content can, can genuinely be Christian content because I, I got so many different struggles, fam. Like I be, 
I, I be so like sometimes I feel like I'm lukewarm. But I do have a heart for God. I do have a heart for Christ. But I, one thing I can't be, and I've always been this way, I, I just can't be fake, fam. You know, I, I'm going to always speak my mind. I'm going to always tell my truth, even though sometimes I can flip-flop on some of the things that I'm feeling. But everything that I generally talk about on my channel is really me. You know what I'm saying? The things that I'm dealing with, the things, the thoughts that I'm having. Uh, and the only way that you're going to ever really progress and improve in life is if you 100% be true and be honest with yourself. But with that being said, I just want to take this time out to repent to the Lord for my pridefulness, for my selfishness, um, for, 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 for making it so easy to always be about me and forgetting about him sometimes. And, 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 and I also want to thank the Lord for reminding me that everything that I have, Lord, he can just take it away. You know what I mean? Like nothing that I have, uh, even though I think of myself as just being this awesome, amazing, uh, engineer this awesome amazing irreplaceable skill set that can't nobody duplicate I think of myself like that but one thing I know about God is like everything that I have God can literally take it away you know what I'm saying because I, I nothing that I have I deserve you know what I mean but thank you Jesus though you know what I'm saying thank you Jesus for saving me and for rescuing me and for blessing me with everything that I have uh, and I'll do my best Lord to not take it for granted that's all I got to say, fam. Thank y'all for watching. Holla at your boy.